Michelle Hemmington. I went into labour with my first child on the 17th of May 2011. He was nine days overdue. Um, when I entered the hospital, mistakes started then. I wasn't monitored for over five hours. I was kept in the bath for over two hours. When I finally did see a midwife, I was eight centimetres dilated. My son became distressed, was in distress for around an hour and a half and no action was taken until they finally did an episiotomy. He was placed on my chest but then taken to a resuscitator and lots of commotion and lots of screams for help. And then 35 minutes later we were told they died. So we held Louis for a couple of hours and then we were told that there was no bereavement room for us because there was another family in there so that we'd have to go on to labour ward. So we were placed on labour ward and then heard babies being born all night and commotion off the labour ward. When my son was born, they were cheering and saying, is he our... Even through the resuscitation process, they were like, it's going to be OK, and trying to reassure me. And then after we're told it died, that's when just it was the shock and, and disbelief at what had just happened. And it's affected all of us deeply and something we will never get over. We received a letter um, a week or so after his death to say there would be a serious untoward incident report, so an internal investigation into the circumstances of his death which we weren't happy with because we didn't want an internal investigation, we wanted an independent investigation. We didn't until after four years of trying and after issuing court proceedings get an admission of liability and that was in respect of the negligence and the cause, i.e. that they caused Louis's death. For Michelle, Paul and Donna and for the rest of her family, this process wasn't about the money. It was really for obtaining access to justice and justice for Louis, knowing really all that we could obtain was compensation for them. But we also found answers along the way and we got the admission of liability and justice in the end for the family and for Louis. I went over how Louis died and the circumstances of Louis' death every day for four and a half years. And it's only now that the legal case has finished and we've got the answers and how and why that I've actually had some peace and I now don't think of the circumstances or how he died but I just think of Louis and how proud I am um, that he's my son. Knowing that your son's death could have been avoided and he should be here, I should be seeing him hitting milestones, you know, going to school, um, having his own children. Also my daughter hasn't got a brother here. I might have to have a minute actually. Without Sarah, we wouldn't have got the answers as to how and why Louis died. We would have had no one fight in our corner, and Sarah was there the whole way. And I will never, ever be able to thank her enough. Um, she's been our rock throughout the process, and I'll be ever debted to her. Mm -hmm.